Sabadi Krap, and welcome to Phuket Extra. I'm JP Mistanza, and it's June 27th. Today is supposed to see the conclusion of the investigation in police pay for promotion allegations. More on that a little later. Now, here's the news you need to know. Details are emerging from the tragic deaths of five people at the Charuan Pokpan Foods processing plant, with police learning that the incident all began with an open wastewater treatment pond inside the factory. It all happened last Friday at that CP Foods plant in Bangkok during a two-student tour of the facility when one woman fell into the pond and the tour leader, an environmental officer at the company, tried to rescue her, but they both fell into the pond unconscious because of the fumes. Three workers then rushed to help them, but they later died from, according to reports, inhaling the toxic gases from the wastewater pond. Authorities have so far learned that the tour was arranged through a personal connection. The tour group leader had only been working at the plant for six months and the heavy lid was not in place at the time of the accident over the pond. The investigation is ongoing. Investigators say they need an extension about 30 more days to complete their probe into allegations of pay for promotions within police ranks nationwide. The investigation began after accusations were made about position buying from a former Democrat Party MP, Wittayaka Opradai, who said it was rampant, especially in the South, triggering a temporary transfer of the Provincial Police Region A commander based here in Phuket. The probe was initially supposed to be for 15 days, with plans for it to be concluded today. But after questioning 40 people, Investigators from the Royal Thai Police say they need more time to look into the Royal Thai Police. The investigation is being criticized by some as the man who is leading the effort, Police General Panya Mamen, went through the Royal Police Cadet Academy with Police General Tessa Siriwatu, the former commander in Phuket who was transferred. But he assured reporters that their relationship would not affect the case. And about 19 billion baht or 17 tons of drugs are now gone as they've been burned in three provinces, marking the UN's International Day Against Drug Abuse and Illicit Trafficking. The drugs had previously been seized in 65,000 cases and kept in storage until yesterday, where in several areas they burned about 7.8 tons of amphetamine or Yaba tablets worth nearly 17.5 billion baht. Meanwhile, in Nakhon Panom, five tons of marijuana were torched, while in Bang Pa Industrial Estate, they burned nearly one and a half tons of other drugs, including heroin. And sit tight, Phuket Extra. We'll be right back after this. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. It's no surprise that the PP and Similin Islands, both near Phuket, are popular tourist hotspots. But since October of last year, they've accounted for over 40% of the fees collected at national parks nationwide. The announcement was made last week by officials from the Department of National Parks, Wildlife and Plant Conservation, with about 730 million baht collected from October 2016 to June 2017. The PP Islands, east of Phuket, generated nearly 430 million baht, while the money collected at the Simlin Islands National Park north of Phuket were just shy of 300 million baht. Nearly 1.7 billion baht were collected at national parks around the country, with officials saying the money will be allocated for restoration, development of natural attractions, and personnel costs. And a big congratulations to not only the Cruzeiro Football Academy at British International School Phuket, but also to 18-year-old Francis Hosking, who's been tapped to represent the Philippine senior national team. Three years after the program's inception, the academy finally has their first homegrown player tapped for the big time with Hosking, who's a dual Filipino and British national and has been at BIS for 16 years, according to a story by the Phuket News sports editor, Matt Pond. BISP Cruzeiro Football Academy head coach Jonatas Candido had asked the player to join them since the start of the program, and now the hard work is finally paying off, with Hosking set to audition for professional clubs this August. Congratulations once again. And that's it for Phuket Extra today. From all of us here at the Phuket News Center, thank you for watching. Until tomorrow, stay classy, Phuket. Thank you.
Did you know that the Phuket News, Live 89.5, Novosti Phuketa and Phuket News TV are all part of the same company? Class Act Media, your island, your media partner.